Welcome back to Captain of Industry. My name is Nilaus and I have a really cool build for you today. Well, actually, I have two really cool builds and uh, I'm looking forward to sharing them with you. It's something I've been working a bit on because, well, I uh, do prepare some things in advance. Where I do prepare most of my stuff is on my Twitch channel. So I'm streaming this quite a lot. It's uh, regularly the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but once in a while also at other times. Oh, come on. I want to get hatch a ride on a truck that's actually doing something. Here we go, uh, while I'm chatting away. So I have some cool builds and uh, I'll show them to you. Hopefully you can get inspired by it. If you are inspired by them, then you can also check the comment section a bit later. Uh, and there will be a some, some designs, some diagrams, so you can more easily make it in your own base. Anyway, thank you very much everyone for following, liking, sharing, subscribing, and of course, primarily for also pledging on Patreon. That is amazing. What I have done between sessions is uh, because I need a lot of space here. So I took the iron that was built here and scooted it over to this location. I particularly chose this location and not here because the first thing we want to do is steel. After we do the steel, we're going to be making a big centralized hub that is belt fed to lower the amount of vehicle usage based on the feedback in comment section and also sort of feedback from my own sort of uh, seeing how that affects diesel uh, consumption and maintenance as well. So what we need is that we are going to take a look at this. What happens is that a lot of things are actually using the same thing. So rubber and copper goes into, uh, into electronics and that's used for the uh, yellow parts. And also rubber and copper are going into here again, electronics that's used for maintenance. And it's also used for vehicle parts and it's also used for science. So there's a lot of things that just go, go all through here. And uh, when we go further with the research, such as working towards the next level of vehicle parts, then that will require steel and glass. That also means we can't do it anytime soon because glass is way down here. Uh, also, next science level is going to require liquid nitrogen. That's a bit of a, an annoying thing, but uh, we can't get it. And we'll get sulfur processing. This is something that a lot of people have been yelling at me, get it. I know, I agree. Um, it's just going to both take a bit of space and a bit of effort. So we'll have this on our to-do list so we can uh, remove the sour water and also get some acid and some sulfur and good stuff. We also want cargo depots so we can unload uh, ships faster. Better copper so we can use acid for copper. Let's get the research lab. Why is it locked? Oh, because we don't have the chemical plant fertilizer. Good stuff as well. Here, this water recovery is absolutely amazing. I might move that up as well before that. And of course, conveyor builds mark two, which we will need for our build that we are going to use here, but we'll make, we'll cut some corners before doing that. Right, so let's uh, take a look at the basic form of, uh, of steel build. And uh, I will also be doing some things here. Uh, so what I do want to do is I get two lines out and in. Again, using the belts instead of using the vehicles and I'm going to leech it from here. That seems reasonable, right? And that means I'll get one belt that feeds the iron and the other belt that feeds the steel. That seems to be reasonable, I think. What we get here is we are going to get... Oh, by the way, this is a the latest version. You can see when the recorded hits the latest version at the moment, at least, where if you select something, it goes to the top. If you select something else, then you can sort of prioritize which one is going to be the primary and then deselect them. It makes it a bit difficult if you want to tag three of them, and then as soon as you click them, then you unclick it. Oh no, that's not what you want. But it's a, it's a cool thing that you can actually make priorities. Now, the next thing is, thing is here, we get 24 molten iron per minute. So that will go into another thing, a not a cool caster, a oxygen furnace. And I want to make it seven apart. And I also want to flip it so the oxygen is from the top. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why seven? Well, I kind of like seven. And I'm also going to go here. Next one is, oh, by the way, 24 into 12. So we're actually only getting 12 steel per second. So you need twice as much steel as you do uh, iron, or at least twice as much raw. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Good. So that will be the very basic idea of this. I will be using the smokestacks here and here. Very basic. I will copy, uh, copy like that. And I want to go a bit crazy with this by making 
a lot of steel. I may not need it this much steel, but I, uh, I, I'd like it. So what I need to do now is I need to get the, this one will have the same residual, the same slag output as usual. And I want to get that slag output somewhere reasonable. Press T to get here. I'll do one, two, three, get into the centralized belt and go to this location. And then we'll realize that we can't cu cut across this. And uh, not yet, at least. But if we just cut this out and cut it out to here, cut this one out, then everyone's going to be happy. Off we go. In the meantime, we can build the rest of this. Inbound. 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 Uh, also here. That goes in. This goes down and in. This goes down and in. Oops. This goes one, two, three. And then up. 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 Perfect. And this one is... Uh, this is important. And remove and remove. I should take that out. Well. And I'll upgrade... So what have we done now? We have now hooked up the residual into the same one as always. This is super important that we are emptying it and also throwing warning if we are not emptying it fast enough. So that's gonna be here. What are we gonna do on this side? We are going to get some water inbound and some, let's see. Let's look at inputs and outputs here. We're gonna get water in. I am going to get the water here. I'll go up to one, two, three, and then go this way. Water. Oops. I'll be a lot of these belt uh, pipe adjustment here and belt adjustments. And we are going to get the same thing for height uh, oxygen. We are going to build the hydrogen. It's still not hydrogen, it's oxygen. I'm going to build it down here. And I think uh, hold on. I'd like to get the water through on that pipe. So let's get it. Make sure that there's room. Oh, this whole thing has to be moved. Okay, here. That's good. And I am pretty sure this needs a better pipe. Yeah. Definitely need a better pipe. We're also probably going to run out at that location, but uh, don't care. We'll have to deal with it. And this location and in. How much water do we need? Six. It's not that bad, but it also allows me to upgrade here. And this is super important. Where is that actually leading us? Oh, it's only leading in here. So we don't use it for that much. Now, next up is we are going to just vent the nitrogen. You can use it for something, but I am not. And then I will get it. Hold on. Is that? Oh, this one's not good. It's too low, too far down. Two and here. Yes. Because that allows me to get the pipe from here and up here in there's a lot of this. I once you get familiar with the piping how that's done or belting as well. It's actually really comfortable to do. It is quite nice. Now that I can't do, I can't do that. That's just going to be a mess. I can't have it be inconsistent. Okay. So they go up here. They are now level one. Uh, water is coming from this one going here. All I need to do is then get the output. And that's going to be the output. 
and this can be on a single pipe or a single belt because that's all there is to it. Huh, funny how it wants to do it the wrong way. And the only thing remaining is hooking it up here. That should be easy. Hook it up, hook it up and hook it up and then get the coal. Go to that distance two apart, like two away from the building and then go one down. That's how I always do it. I want to make be consistent about it. There we go. Last one. I know we're blocking some things. The liquid channels coming in. I always seem to forget the liquid channels. And then we'll just be ready to fire the whole thing up. build Speed build the whole thing. And then we have steel in pretty silly quantities. Actually 48 steel per second, which is a lot more than we would need. I don't think I'm missing anything. So I'll just go all in. And here, I love just speed building it and then there we go uh the channels though they're not seem to be getting there uh yeah that's that's actually probably a a good point we are probably going to lose a lot of or not have enough uh, resources for this why are these not building it interesting these did not sort of get selected Okay, that is steel, hopefully coming in. But that was not at all what we wanted to do. That was just like a teaser. But it's still pretty amazing to build it. Uh, what would be even more amazing if we actually had this one going. This is a pipe one, pipe one, and this is a pipe two. It has to be a pipe two. And that should also be a pipe two. This should definitely be a pipe two. No, definitely not a pipe two. All right, that's fine. I don't think this has to be a pipe tube. All right, uh, we are going to set up a warning on, yeah, this one. If it empties, then we need to know. And we have, and we have steel very shortly. So obviously this is consuming at the max rate. It's consuming too much. Now it's consuming 48 as it goes on. And here, why are you, oh, right. There's a, there's a few things that are not done here. That one. Anything else? No? You're working. You are working now. So in we go with the oxygen. And the main point is we have steel and we'll get a silly, silly amount of steel. But we'll need it. We'll need it. All right. So what is that one doing? I don't know. Well, I do know. Uh, we're going to build more of these. Um, I'm going to build... What you're going to see now is just... What is he doing again? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I just don't like what I'm doing here. That goes away. Let's see. Yes. Let's try this. And I know they're not the same distance apart. And that is actually intended. One, two, three, four, five. And those two. No, that's not actually working. I'll build that here. Yes. And you will be built here. Yes. That's there's more room here and here. And that there has to be more room. Uh, a bit more room, not a lot more room. This one should be kind of the same distance. Tree Harvester has nothing to build. Okay, that's fine. Tree Harvester can just keep uh, munching on. Actually, this is not the most important place to Tree Harvest. I think I'll go up here and Tree Harvest up here because I might be wanting to go up here in a not too distant future. So let's Tree Harvest that. Okay, what the hell are we doing? Yeah, um, this one. The first thing we want to do for everything is make electronic parts. And are these their electric assemblers? Yes. Small excavator has no fuel. That's okay. Then the next thing we want to make is we want to get in to, uh, to build. Uh, the most important is maintenance. So if I, if I imagine a bus mm -hmm, coming from here, then the first thing we're going to go in is electronic circuits or electronics, because that's going to be used for everything. Then the next thing that's going to take the more of it, the majority of it is going to be maintenance. And then it's going to be 
Construction parts one, construction parts two, construction parts three. Not construction parts four. Then it's going to be vehicle parts and then science at the end. So if we have anything remaining, it goes to science, but anything else is more important than keeping the science going. Because if we don't, we don't really lose anything by not having science, we just, well, it just gets a bit slower. It also obviously means that all of this crap has to be taken out, which is gonna be difficult or challenging. So I should have uh, taken at least some of it out here already. We are not going to do science. And we're just going to accept that all of this is not happening. But I'm not going to remove this. Um, we have a ton of vehicle parts and also a significant amount of, uh, of stuff working here. But uh, we need to make new. Right, so if I want to make the maintenance part. Well, the maintenance part will require some mechanical parts. And I'm going to have two of those mechanical parts because I need 12 in each, and this one will be 24. Uh, that actually means we... Where are we? These are making 12 plus 12, and that one is consuming 24. Yeah, they need to be upgraded to the steel ones, but I'm only going to be taking uh, the steel blade the next one. Uh, hold on. Well, I can't... I do have the steel now, so maybe it's actually skipping that. Hmm. I cannot... Oh, I can't upgrade until we have that. That's... That's going to be a thing. All right, we'll keep it like this, and then uh, we'll just know that we are not getting as much as we'd like to have. And then I will be getting... Two repair facilities seems to be reasonable. Um, then I'm going to get out here from the central location, flat conveyor. Everything will come in. I'll do it from here. Why is this distance? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the middle of this big square. That is not a coincidence either. And they go the side. I will get these parts here. And then I press F to ignore that. And then I'll get another one coming in. That's going to be lifted in one higher up. And it's going to go into... We do need to make sure this uh, output is open because that output will much, much later be used for uh, getting recyclables out. So this will, of course, be the electronic circuits that we are going to produce here. I can't produce them until I take all of this out. So we do have a few challenges here. So this will be the next one will be construction parts. Uh, it's going to be super, super tight here. I'm not even sure that actually can be done, but we'll try it. That one, this one will be a bit up. And then this will be two up. Yeah, okay, I can do it. And that will be four. The distance away is four. Because if you do it from two up and four away, then it can lead in. And if you then go back to the lower level, that can go under. And we need to make three of these. Well, we don't need to, but that's how many I want. I want to make three. That's just, I feel that's a good number. And here. And the top one, just go one up. Look at that, that's crisp. That is crisp designs as always. Now, outbound wise, some of them are going to go into the yellow ones, but some of them are going to go out. So I'm gonna get a flat bouncer and I'm gonna build it right there. Because I also need it to be put in a box. So let's get a box right here. Uh, that will be positioned here. I will be taking this box and I will be... What will I do? Yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to take the other parts out anyway. So it goes in here for the box. Like so. And then it goes onwards to the next. There will also be three of the yellow signs, not gold signs, yellow. And that will be in the middle. Important to go... In. Oops, that was not connected somehow. Connected and connected. Then I will get from this location. One up. 
what will be on this belt? Well, that was the electronic circuits that we are not building, but we soon will be building. And electronic parts, electronic uh, gold parts or yellow parts here, and that will be out. And we'll do the same. Yellow parts. I value the fact that it's consistent here. Get it. And go back. Oops. Go in here. And then this will be the red parts. Look at that, how casually we already just scale up for the red parts. And there is another part later on, but it requires something that is so advanced that it... I don't really feel that it's worthwhile to put it in here at this moment. This part that we're looking at right now will be steel coming in. So that's already... The fact that we have steel is great because now we can get it in here. And I will... Mm, get it out. One, two, three, and in. That'll be the yellow one, the red ones. Colors, man, colors. Okay, so what's the next gonna be? <clears throat> uh, maybe it's not actually going to be anything because what if we... No, I think this is not as important. So how about we start building some of this inbound? And uh, I'm going to be a bit courageous here. And by courageous, I mean reckless. Uh, this goes out. Uh, this this is still kind of important. Oh yeah, I have to keep this uh, online. I'm gonna I can scale it down, but not like a lot down. So we're going to have to, we're going to have a, a bit of a challenge uh, when it comes to bringing things in. Uh, the first things we want to bring in uh, is actually, so is going to be the copper and the rubber. So rubber is coming from this location and it actually should have been a scaled up, but we'll just do that now. So that will come in somewhere here and the closest I want this rubber to be. And I want all of the updates, all of the stuff coming in, they will be at height two. So they go here, and then that one. So from the other side here, I will have the copper coming in, because the copper is coming all the way up from here. So I'm going to have to do something about that copper to bring it in. And I think that's the first thing. We're going to bring the rubber in and the copper in to this. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not the one. That's going to come into the one that doesn't even exist yet. Uh, yeah, okay. So that's pretty much uh, why I have to do... Are you ready? That's it. <laughs> that's, that's a bit risky. But it's all good. So what I'll do now is I will... Um, I'll just try to see if I can design my way out of this. I can take the unity out on here. And since we're not really producing anything, I will make three. And I'll also take Unity to remove this part. I could be doing this less reckless, but it wouldn't be me if I there wasn't a big reckless on my deleting things and also on power supplies, that kind of thing. This will be electronics, yep. And that will be copper coming in here. And then I'll have rubber coming in on the other one. Is it connected? Yeah, it is. Yep, yeah, and that'll be electronics. And down here, electronics. Then I bring electronics out. That's going to be... Uh, that is kind of close, isn't it? I guess we do it here. And that will also be bringing a box in here. And now it makes a lot of sense to do because this is a good place to build things there and up there. This will be electronics. This will be here. We'll just have them sort of aggressively request so that they have some place to live here. Aggressive requests so I can actually empty them. Good. 
Right. So this is what I wanted to say. I wanted to say copper from over on this side goes to exactly this location. And then rubber comes from this location and goes exactly here. Because they're only going to be used for one thing and one thing only. Is that connected? No. That's connected. And that's connected. So they will be able to drive under it because it's too high. Yes, I will know if I ever get to mega trucks, they won't be able to work. Um, but from here, they will now be able to go to, this will be the first belt. The second belt is going to be three tiles away. One, two, three, two up. And I'll actually build it there because that's where it starts. Because it goes here. That'll be built going up and the first part here will be iron concrete and uh, wood and the next part will be actually on we'll just get it a bit further down here and see that's actually too early because I am going to get copper in here then I can build it great could not store vegetables yeah don't care right so we're starting to see sort of some kind of trend what I'm gonna start working on is uh, getting the the first parts up and running and that means the first things we want to do is we want to take the rubber the concrete the iron inbound here on uh, these these locations right uh, I'll even sneak the code the, this one, and uh, then you know we don't have a way to get wood in here so I will actually just um, take this part and then replace it with somewhere for the wood so we can get wood into here early and build it good so well uh, let me uh, get the some of these ingredients in here so we can start working on the next part all right a lot has been done and uh, i think we're ready to get on with the next part so here's the challenge i have a very finite amount of uh, resources available construction parts so i need to make sure that construction parts will be the first parts that get online not actually the electronics because we are okay on that uh, but this part is the construction part one which we do have some and then construction parts two which is super essential so how do we do that? Well, construction parts to require the output here. So we're simply going to start uh, looking at this, planning that, go there, go here, here, and here. And this entire thing has to be online then. Good. Like that has to be online and Yes, so we will see this part working. This will be the electronic circuits going on and that will go into these builds. So let's make sure we get them built. Those are super important. And I'm also focusing on the outputs so that if we build something, we can always feed them with, uh, with manual, with trucks, but then we can at least get this flowing. So what does it need? It needs to get outbound here. If push comes to shove, we can also just lead out more of the construction parts back in here to this network it should be fine uh, but what else do we have we have on this is going to be our iron in inbound so iron inbound is important because it goes into well maintenance which we like to do and you you have that so the only thing we actually have at this point is inbound here let's get some of that going It, it's pretty risky, pretty risky, but I like it. And I will actually make a a thing here, that one. This is a very temporary, but I'll just, um, I'll just make it and we'll pause here. So what this means is that now we have the production of the yellow construction parts will get started. It'll go in here and it'll output on this side. You can then switch the priorities if you want to go anywhere, but I've now marked it here. Good. So they will now start working on ye more yellow 
And we do have some extra, you know, so that's good. Okay, let's uh, start bringing things in for the construction parts from Mark 1. That means I need my iron belt built. And let's trace it backwards, the iron belt here. And that will also go into maintenance. I'm not going to be hooking up maintenance right now because I have the other maintenance. So don't feel I need it. And that will go here. So that is the iron hopefully coming out. Then we'll take the concrete coming out from the other location. It'll go all the way in here. Concrete. Disable that. Concrete. Go in on the top belt. In here. Sweet. And I will now take this out and unpause here. Look at that. They are all working. Great. And they are all working. All right. We can be super aggressive now, can't we? <gasps> yeah, we can. Let's, uh, let's do here and here. And that's... You know what? I'll just do that. Bloop. All of it. Nothing gets paused. Build what you can. And then I'll start throwing Unity at it here and there. Rubber supply is low. That's not a big surprise that rubber supply, supply is low because someone's been using quite a lot of rubber or is using quite a lot of rubber for this magnificent build. Uh, so if I start making... Well, I'm not... Until I get copper inbound, then I don't feel safe. Okay, that's also... Oh, 143. That's because it is already built. Sweet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Like, what a critical flaw. Go. It's almost like I didn't want this one to be built. So it just takes a bit of time to build all of this pipe here. Uh, why is it actually? Oh, it's paused. No, it's not paused. The construction is paused. Working. All right. So this now gets... Yeah, there we go. We start from here. And as soon as that works, we'll have all of our copper inbound uh, going out and it'll come in here once that happens i'll uh, i'll need to get the production we are also is this coming yes this is working so that's going to be bringing in the rubber which also unfortunately means that this is going to be dangerously low for a very long time since it is just going to be filling up this massive belt and uh, luckily we don't have the uh, the electronic circuits is not as bad right now now, I think that I can start deleting. This can be deleted. Um, this can be deleted. I actually don't want to delete this box. This box is just annoying. Uh, but I want to transition out of here. So, go away. Go away. Go away. That's dangerous because that's our... That's our maintenance. I will hook up the maintenance here. Hook up the maintenance. So this is now our maintenance build will work. We're getting iron inbound. It will be changed to steel as soon as we have the red builds. But so far, it's going to be fine. These are working. They're not going to be able to keep up with this. Uh, not not yet. And not without extra builds. Uh, we have full population. So I can take my... And remove here. And what is our process on... Okay, the copper is slowly working our way here. And the... This... There you go. Get the last bits in. Get the last bits in. Get the last in. Can't get the last in. This will be our electronic circuit build. This will be our... Maintenance build. And maintenance is now... Well, it's not actually working yet. Uh, hold on. That is also incorrect. No, is it? Hold on, what's going on? Oh, no, that's not copper. Oh, good thing you noticed that. There we go. Get that out of here. That's going to be the hardest part of this, is just trying to figure out what it, where, are, where are our mistakes. And go up to here. Ta-da! That will work. So that gets us more of the electronics inbound and now half the electronics will always go into the maintenance if at all possible since it is like a spitter um but we still have stuff to do oh actually we didn't build this but you know 
I think we're actually okay on this part for now. Okay, yeah. The steel is completely full. Brilliant, even though I haven't set that up. And now the rubber is coming in. We can also see that the rubber is not keeping up. It's just uh, at the rate it's producing. It, it will eventually be enough. But right now, it's not going to be quite enough. Uh, let's just start leading things in. Oh, power. How did we... How did that happen? How did we have power issues suddenly? Um, 2.4? Really? What? How do we have power issues? I don't know. I can't see how that would be... We would have power issues. Maybe it just spiked. Okay, maybe that's just nothing and we don't care about it. We'll just ignore it and hope it is not really a problem. Iron supply is low. Yeah, that's kind of intentional. Uh, because now we'll kill our maintenance. And maintenance is now dead. And what are we going to do as a result? Take all of this out. That's it. I am that confident in our in our construction. Although we don't have this, but you know, we'll we'll get it. And get this one. Uh, where are where's our copper coming? There it is. Here's our copper. Great. And we might need to uh, scale up our copper, but the good thing is now we know just need to scale up our copper at one place, because copper is only used for one thing, and uh, that is actually the circuits, the electronic circuits for a very very long time. So we can, while this is slowly working away. I can get my... Hold on, why is steel not coming out? Oh no, is that... Did I turn it the wrong way? Or what? Why? How is that not working? Steel. Get out of here. I'm puzzled. I'm very puzzled why that's not working. We'll have to figure out why that's not working. But, uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so it wasn't working because there was nothing. I don't know. Is that... Shouldn't it have been... I mean, it seems like it didn't go out until it was connected to something, but that seems like a weird function. Like, what if I just want to fill up a belt? Am I not allowed to do that until there is a demand somewhere on the other end of the belt? I don't know. If you know, let me know. So it has no recipe. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Next build, uh, because we're not quite done. We want this hub to be completely done <clears throat> and uh, with all the stuff we can do at this uh, this tech level. This will be our maintenance facility. So let's also just destroy our current maintenance facility because of course we will. Um, vehicle parts, I can't really do anything about that. Um, so what will this maintenance thing do? Uh, it will actually, this will make vehicle parts and then it'll go into, no, sorry, mechanical gears and then it'll go into vehicle parts and then my question is, do I actually... No labs available. Well, we're not getting this one. But that will get steel and glass. We have steel, but not glass. But we will get glass on this belt. And it also needs a better recipe. So I can build it in here. And I can build one more here. And then I can build my vehicle facility. Oh, we have a vehicle depot too. Sweet. Which will then be... Built somewhere like like this. And I don't need it right now, so I don't need to build it, but um kinda like to get it in here. Um Yeah. So which one is the iron one? That's the iron one. Oh, so it doesn't go on. It is actually like that. Huh. Well, what do you know? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is getting the iron in here. Oh, did I, did I see that correctly? Did I see that this is actually working? <gasps> We're getting some red ones. Sweet. Here, that's going to go in. That'll make the gears. Gears will go into the vehicle parts. And also the iron will go into the vehicle parts. And then I'll take from here over to... I guess... 
that's the one. Yes, and then it actually goes in. That is super weird. I did not even uh, know that. I do now. Like, for example, it will not go out on this belt because it's a... I wonder if that's new because I've never noticed that before. Or maybe I just haven't needed that. All right, and then at this location. Good. And that will be from the electronic circuit thing. And then I'll have room for one more and one more. That'll be for steel and it'll be for glass, which will go into the next part. It's good. Now let's do also science. If we want to do science, then we still need the mechanical parts. I could make mechanical parts sort of from a different perspective, but I don't want to. Um, so I will get mechanical parts at this location. Good. So that's the mechanical parts. And I will get... Here. And... Oh, I don't think I can do that yet. There. It goes up when it can. And... That makes the mechanical parts. The mechanical parts will now go into the next one. The next one will be here. So I need my iron also to continue to go in. And from this side, it... Uh, hold on, that's not... Yeah. This will be making not vehicle parts, but... That's not correct. I'm trying I'm trying to make the same thing again. Science labs. Slabs. And uh, let's see. That's still not actually correct. I do want to get it here. Because otherwise, how am I gonna get it in? And then I'll get from This location. Level 2. That will be... Here. The facilities. And I'm not going to get anywhere further out. So at this point, this will make lab equipment. And then that will go into... The next lab equipment, which will just need liquid nitrogen. Uh, that's something we're not going to be uh, working on. And I will also be... So, liquid nitrogen. Here I'll have a belt. And then I'll... Okay. And then... Liquid nitrogen is something I just never want to deal with. But this is going to be here. And the last one we need is going to be glass. For, whoops, for the final location. So, I'm going to build it... Close... And close. And ultimately... Ah, no. Ultimately, it'll go from this lab equipment into the next lab equipment, into the next lab equipment, and onwards. But not right now, because we only have this tier of lab equipment. I'll press F to move further along. And then I'll get the lab builds. That's research lab 2. And that will be... Yeah, that's one, two, and I think three is going to be all we can, we can ever hope for. Ah, somehow it's just one closer. And I'll get. So I think this is a really, really good build, to be honest. Because it now will completely eliminate almost all of our almost all of our uh, build here, um, all of our build, uh, not our building. And did we not get no? Well, we're gonna get steel into some of these later on. But uh, right now, that's the only thing that requires steel. So we have construction parts. We have the yellow construction parts. We have the white construction parts. We have these inbound. Good. This will keep accruing. And that's glorious. Let's build this damn thing like that. And these are not going to be relevant, so I'll take those out. I'll also take this out because that's going to be for 
Um, do we even... Are we even able to make it? No, not yet. But we will soon enough. Right. So let's get... Ah, you know what? Let's uh, also help it a bit along here. Speed it along. Okay. Don't have that. But it's coming. It's coming. Right. In the meantime, uh, what have we done here? Well, basically... Oh, this has to be redone. I can see that now. And why does it have to be redone? Because I need to make sure that there is a path across. Because when I cut the vehicles, they will have to be driving around. And out here, which means you also have to go down to make room for it. And then they will either go this way. Which can go up, up and over. Or in here, or here, or go up here. So I need to make sure that there's always a path for the vehicles even if they are yeah even for their if they're for the what are they called excavators yes yeah got it p and update and then get and that's also p for unpause and upgrade i do like working permanently in that build and I will also do the same thing here. And yeah, it's right, gonna be right here. Maybe even some of that. And I will build the small vehicle ramp. Yeah. Continue to go here and then no. Nope. In under. Yeah. And then down. And then one past and then up. That's important. And pause and update and unpause. I guess I fell out of my construction menu. Okay. And let's see. What else do we need? I need this one updated as well. I need this going. I want science to kick back in. What are we working on here? Uh, we're wait, waiting, waiting for some lab equipment to come out. Hmm. And I can always do that. I thought actually I would have some some lab equipment already ready. What are we waiting for here? Uh, just a few construction parts. Construction parts too. But they are working... Kind of working. Yeah. They're working. Si power is okay as well. There, that's working. <laughs> Get the next one. Ah, still. Just a few things. I want to see the whole thing sort of working. And now we have the electronic circuits coming in. And if we could just get that one online. Come on. How much do we need? Six. You have six, right? You must have six. You have six now. Get in there. So this will be working. I will now make the vehicle parts that are completely irrelevant because I already <laughs> have too many vehicle parts. So I think I'll actually pause that. That was definitely not what I wanted. It was probably this one instead that needs 10. All right. We do have 10. We have 10. We have 10 very soon. Uh, this is working. Yes, this is working. And this is also working. Yeah, because our white parts are completely full. Great. Still not working. Oh, that's also a lot. Uh, pretty far away. But I, I think the most important part here is that the fact that we we managed to, to sort of take the whole thing down and then rebuild it again without running out of things. And I think that's pretty cool. And we'll have this part. And uh, now we'll have the, v, the science parts. And I will allow them as it goes in and starts working. It'll get started on the next parts. Like here, even though that takes 60. Cool. I think this is a, an excellent place to uh, to wrap up. Of course, when we come back, I'll just have created these things that are still 
outstanding. Um, and then we'll now have it. We have steel. It's a massive, nice steel plant. It is super nice and symmetrical. We like making nice and symmetrical stuff, right? And we also have now a main bus with a production hub that they, does pretty much everything we'd want to do. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you want to keep up with this series. It, it was a bit long, but I thought we made like a massive progress. I didn't want to do just steel. I want to do a full production hub. And we can add a few more lines here, like glass is one more line that we add, but I don't think we add any more on top of that. Thank you very much for working for, for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting with the subscriptions, the good comments, the likes, all of that good stuff. It's absolutely amazing. Really appreciate it. And of course, the biggest thanks go to the patrons who are helping me pay the bills around here. So thank you very much. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.